acting being the foundation, she has used her success in the field of acting to catapult her into a full-on music career as a singer-songwriter who is not only sought after in Australia but also world over. In conversation with me today is Lenka who has hits such as The Show, Everything at Once and Trouble is a Friend under her belt. Hello Lenka. Hello, thank you for having me. It's nice to have with us here and you look absolutely lovely in a sari. I'm guessing this is your first time. It is my first time. It's so exciting. I, I feel like a princess. <laughs> now Lenka, let us go back to your roots because it's important to um, talk about your roots because that's what makes you who you are today. Uh, you were born in Australia and you've lived most of your life in Australia. Talk to, a little bit, uh, talk to me a little bit about how it was growing up there and also about your family. I'm from the country. Um, my parents were quite bohemian. My dad's a jazz musician. My mum was a teacher. Um, they built the house and I lived a very free and natural and creative early childhood. I did a bit of music. I used to run around wearing fancy clothes and climbing trees and singing songs. Um, then we moved to the city and I actually became a professional actor when I was like 12, 13 years old. So I was like a child actor, teenage actor. Um, I was in a lot of TV and film and theatre and um, that was really my, my favourite thing for a while. But then I moved on to um, start to do music. Um, yeah, so I guess um, it was all meant to be in a way, but it took me quite a long time to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. And now I usually sing songs same as what I would have done as that little girl running around in the bush. Well, you've grown up from a little girl into uh, motherhood now. You've just given birth to a beautiful baby, a new addition to the family. How has that been uh, for you, that life-changing mo moment being for it's you, great. motherhood? He's very cute. Um, and having a baby and becoming a mum really inspired inspired my last album. It's pretty much a lullaby album. It's really for my baby and I, I wrote the songs when I was pregnant and, and then when I had a little baby so I, I was in the studio working at that time and um, what, was, what I was going through was very much the inspiration and everything has changed of course as any parent would agree it, it really changes your whole life and your whole perspective but it's been very inspiring creatively and um, yeah I think it's I think it's really nice. Uh, now you said that you uh, started off uh, acting and you've also taken part in several TV series some popular TV series like uh, Spellbinder, Home and Away uh, so what made you really shift from a career in acting to a career in uh, singing and songwriting? I think it was really because I wanted to be more creatively involved, like when you're an actor. It really is just that one job that you're doing and it's somebody else's story and it's somebody else is the director and it's really, it's not yours. And I wanted to be the one that was telling the stories and, and singing the songs, but also doing the visuals and really controlling the whole product. And it feels much more personal to me. Um, I was feeling a little bit dissatisfied with only being the actor. I wanted to do everything. So um, that was really the, the reason, I think. But it took me a while to discover, and it was actually when I was singing in a play. So I was acting in a play, but the character sang a song, and the response that people were giving me about the singing was, was sort of that that was what I should be doing, and I realised that I was enjoying that more than the acting as well. So. That was kind of the reason why, and I feel like acting is still involved in what I do. It's still a little part of it, and the music videos, being on stage, you know, I still have to perform the truth of the songs, which is a little bit like acting, but I'm playing myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every artist has uh, his or her own style and own perspective. How would you define yourself as an um, artist, as a singer-songwriter? I think that um, my whole thing is about uh, having a sort of a very strong inner child and keeping a sense of wonderment and optimism and I really try to do that for myself um, and project that for other people as well so from what I'm told when when people listen to my music my fans um, they say that it makes them feel more happy 
and that it's sort of uplifting, that my music is uplifting and that makes sense to me because that's what, why I do it for myself as well. Like I often I write songs when I'm feeling down and then I want the song to cheer me up and it's almost like therapy for me. So it's kind of like this whimsical, childlike, almost like I sometimes call it naive pop. Um, like it sounds like it's made by a kid and it's supposed to just make you feel full of hope and happiness. You say this genre of your songs are different, their style is different and um, it's more like naive um, and uh, very childlike um, songs that you have created. What really inspired you to uh, get into music and to write songs such as these? I don't know exactly where that comes from, it's just sort of who I truly am but uh, I do find inspiration in things like children's um, nursery rhymes and stories and fables and fairy tales and things like that, folk art uh, and a big early inspiration for me was the artist Bjork. I really loved her and I felt like she was doing something really interesting and she's just sort of like this little elf from Iceland who writes songs about nature and power and like women and um, she's, she does make very strange music now but early on she was making pop songs that were different and that to me was really inspiring. Um, and the rest I just am trying to find my own unique thing. Um, what is your perspective as a songwriter? I mean, every songwriter goes through these processes of thoughts and, you know, really um, going through a brainstorming session uh, either alone or with someone else. Uh, do you write your songs uh, alone or do you write it with someone else uh, together? Well, usually I have some intense emotion that I, I've, I'm feeling and that I want to get out and that's the beginning of the song and then that's usually you know one line or, or just a little section of the song and then I sit down at the piano and flesh out the rest of the song and what the music will be. Uh, I do co-write sometimes so in that kind of situation it's like you sit down with another person and you kind of just have a chat and you talk about life. So for example the song The Show I'd never met the songwriter before. We sat down and we had a chat. We were in Los Angeles and we were talking about how we were feeling really stressed out and everything was like out of control. And we're like, oh, it's just like life is like this big fake show and we're trying to understand it. And that's where the idea came from. And then you're like, hey, that's a good idea. And you start to work on the song. That's an ideal situation. It, it took an hour and a half to write that song. It was just boom, just comes out. Sometimes it's a little more of a heavy experience and you have to delve deep and, you know, discover what it's about. The song Everything at Once um, was really like a nursery rhyme or like a children's fable. I had these images going around in my head like as sly as a fox, as strong as an ox and I guess at that time I was feeling really adventurous and I was just about to get married, I was feeling so like full of hope for the future and I just wanted to like take a big bite out of life and just do it all. So it's that song is just a list of all the <laughs> things that I could be, good and bad, you know, um, but it comes across almost like um, a kid's song. Do you prefer writing songs on your own or with someone else? I like both. I like both and it's good to mix it up. It's a more intimate experience when you're alone, um, but it's really fun with another person and sometimes if you're struggling for inspiration, having another person there to bounce ideas off is what gets you through. Mm -hmm. And most of the big pop songs are written by like six people and they just go back and forth and they all try different things. Um, yeah. But um, I guess it just it depends on, on what you're going through. Your first album, a self-titled album, Lenka, was uh, introduced in 2008 and that also had uh, your hit single which is uh, The Show. Uh, what made you really want to debut with uh, The Show as uh, you know, your single? Well, it took a long time. They say that your first album takes a lifetime and your second album takes like six months. <laughs> um, there was a few years of, I moved over to Los Angeles, I you know, was starting to try to sort of get a bit of attention to my music, doing very small gigs and inviting people to come and see and listen to my music and um, I was really lucky and I got the attention of publishers and record labels quite quickly and uh, the whole thing 
happened quite easily really. I signed a record deal with Sony Music over there and um, it was all very sort of major label. They were really excited. They wanted to hear the hits, you know, um, but they were very encouraging of me and my style. Um, that song, The Show, was like a, a very early favourite. I when After we wrote it, I remember I was in the car and I played it over the phone to the A&R guy from the label. I just the demo, like really bad, and he was like, oh my god, that's the song! Um, and so, you know, we just went and recorded it, it was like two days in the studio done, it was all really easy. Um, I don't know, it was a bit of a whirlwind really, it's four, five years ago now, it was 2008, and then it came out, it was a hit in Asia in 2009, um, and it, th that song really took me around the world, and it's still... Uh, gets a lot of like film and TV placements and keeps having a new life, which is really amazing. Like, it was in the movie Moneyball a couple of years ago. Incidentally, that song uh, also made it to reality shows. We saw it being sung several times on the reality show The Voice. And it's just about to be in The Voice, the video game, which is quite funny for me. So people will be at home, you know, um, playing the video game and singing along to it. So it's, it's had a very long life. For a little song that took an hour and a half to write, that we just thought was so cute and funny. It's, um, you know, it's really having a good life. I mean, sh the show was a popular song, but what really uh, opened the doors for you in Asia and specifically in India and even in Sri Lanka was uh, your song Everything at Once, which was used in a TV commercial. I mean, after that song, people really wanted to know who is Lenka? What is our music all about? Uh, so what really made you want to, you know, get on to that commercial or give your song for that commercial? How did that happen? Well, they liked the music video that I'd already made and the song and they wanted to put it in the commercial. I think it actually came from China where I have quite a strong fan base and the, the Chinese office of were the ones that wanted to use the song. They did quite a few commercials for that campaign. I was one of maybe 15 different ads around the world. Um, but yeah, they sent it to me. They'd already edited it together. They said, this is what we want to do. I was like, awesome. That looks great. Looks like an ad for me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's got my music video in it. It's got my song, it had my name. Um, so I was really excited and said yes straight away. I thought it looked really cool. It's a great product. And the great thing about it for me was that, like you said, it started a new fan base for me in countries like India, Sri Lanka, Turkey, Russia, some places where I didn't have a fan base before. People didn't really know who I was yet. Uh, did you give that song for a commercial thinking that it was going to be famous or um, that it was going to bring you so much of attention around the world? Did you think that that was going to happen uh, with everything at once going in for a TV commercial? Not really, no. I just thought, this is great. It'll be, you know, because they, they pay you a check at, at first as well. But then in my experience, I know that when you have songs on TV and film, that it does help you sort of get new fans but I didn't really realize that it would open up new countries because I didn't know where they were going to air the commercial um, so I just feel really lucky.